Booksmart presents Sherlock Holmes and the Adventure of the Illustrious Client, written by Arthur Conan Doyle, performed and edited by Ferris Sabiri. It can't hurt now, was Mr. Sherlock Holmes's comment when, for the tenth time in as many years, I asked his leave to reveal the following narrative. So it was that, at last, I obtained permission to put on record what was, in some ways, the supreme moment of my friend's career. Both Holmes and I had a weakness for the Turkish bath. It was over a smoke in the pleasant atmosphere of the drawing-room that I have found him more human than anywhere else. On the upper floor of the Northumberland Avenue building, there is an out-of-the-way corner where two couches lie side by side, and it was on these that we lay on September 3rd, 1902, the day when my narrative begins. I had asked him whether anything was stirring, and as an answer he had shot his long, thin, nervous arm out of the sheets which covered him, and had taken an envelope from the inside pocket of the coat which hung beside him. It may be some self-important fool. It may be a matter of life or death, said he as he handed me the note. I know no more than this message tells me. The letter was from the Carlton Club, and dated the evening before. This is what I read. Sir James Damery presents his compliments to Mr. Sherlock Holmes, and will call upon him at 4.30 tomorrow. Sir James begs to say that the matter upon which he desires to consult Mr. Holmes is very delicate, and also very important. He trusts, therefore, that Mr. Holmes will make every effort to grant this interview, and that he will confirm it over the telephone to the Carlton Club. "'I need not say that I have confirmed it, Watson,' said Holmes as I returned the paper. "'Do you know anything of this man, Damery?' "'Only that his name is a household name in society,' 